Hello big fans of the San Francisco 49ers, my name is Thomas and from now on I will tell you the latest news about what just happened to the 49ers, already subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to always be receiving the main news of this amazing team. A pivotal week 15 matchup against the Los Angeles Rams is staring the San Francisco 49ers right in the face. Either they will achieve a desperately needed win or their playoff hopes will be crushed. Here are three reasons why the 49ers will defeat the Rams. Rams will be fatigued. Having to play a Thursday night football game is always taxing for both teams. However, the Rams will feel it more than the 49ers. It isn't because the Rams are the traveling team, but because of the game they just played. The Rams were in a battle against the Buffalo Bills for all four quarters. Being in such a contentious game against an elite opponent is draining. Now, the Rams have to turn it around against the 49ers who didn't need all four quarters to blow out the lowly Chicago Bears. The 49ers should feel like the fresher team versus the Rams and will benefit them as the game plays out. 49ers passing offense has a favorable matchup. Brock Purdy looked sweet against the Bears by running the offense through George Kittle and Jawan Jennings. That should remain the same against the Rams. Jennings exploded against the Rams in Week 3 and is poised to do it again. The Rams' defense has allowed the fifth-highest explosive pass rate, 17.5%, in the NFL this season, per next-gen stats. With rookie Isaac Garendo nursing a foot sprain, this is the perfect opportunity for the 49ers to lean on the pass. Momentum is on the 49ers' side for once. Albeit, they looked amazing against one of the worst teams in the league, but the 49ers haven't been able to look strong against anyone this year. Their morale should be high and place them in a good position to take advantage of a weak Rams secondary. Familiarity. One of the main reasons the 49ers have owned the Rams for almost five years is because of the familiarity they have. That familiarity didn't magically disappear in week three. What did disappear was the 49ers' concentration. They completely fumbled that game after being in firm control. I don't anticipate that happening again despite the Rams having Puka Nakwa and Cooper Cup on hand this time. The 49ers always know how to play against them and they will prove it again on Thursday night. So long as they don't shoot themselves in the foot, their ownership of the Rams will be alive and well again. Take the opportunity to leave your opinion about this news in the comments of this video, and if you liked the video, don't forget to share it with your friends, see you later.